In this video, we're going to show you how to carve a pumpkin. Hey everyone, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. A little bit of a Halloween edition, actually. Uh, on this channel, we usually do a lot of woodworking tutorials, tool reviews, tool tutorials, and little DIY, you know, woodworking builds. But today, we're going to do a nice little video on how to carve a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. So make sure to subscribe for a lot more really great content. Like I said, usually it's a lot of DIY woodworking, although I do some seasonal little projects like this as well. Now let's get into it. So once you've got your pumpkin picked out, generally a nice round pumpkin's gonna work good. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut your lid out. And that's uh, one point where a lot of people make a mistake, because you wanna make a little triangle notch so that uh, also you want to use a non-permanent marker so you can wipe it off like I just did there. So you want to make your circle have a little triangle notch in it so that way you can always put the lid on straight. So we're just going to draw our lid around and then we're going to cut it out. So we'll get that drawn around and then we're going to cut that out. So we'll go ahead and grab our uh, pumpkin carving knife and uh, just so you guys know, if, you're not, if you don't really have any pumpkin carving knives, they definitely work better than a regular knife. And all the links to the uh, tools and, and equipment that I'm using to make this video will be in the description below. So you know, if, if you broke your knife or you're in a pinch for one, go ahead and check down there. So you just want to carve around. And the key is to carve on an angle, about a 45 degree angle. If you cut straight in, your lid's going to fall straight in. And even if it's not enough of an angle, as uh, your pumpkin kind of shrinks and contract, contracts in the cold, your lid may end up falling in. If you've got too much of a bevel in the end, you can kind of trim some off. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll just go ahead and cut the lid off. Remember to cut your uh, triangle here. And then we'll be on our way. Uh, yeah, and be prepared to start making a mess. Like, if you've done it before, you know. So there we go. The lid comes off. Yeah, you can do the seed, Stormy. Oh. So uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is, is kind of cut the, the excess part of your lid off. You don't really need the lid to be any thicker than necessary. So you cut all that off, it'll be a nice kind of clean look. Probably want to lay down some paper or newspaper or something like I have as well to kind of collect your mess a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. So like I was saying, uh, if this is a little bit too deep, you can just come in with your knife and kind of cut that away a little bit. So that way it gives yourself a little bit bigger of a hole. Careful not to cut too much away though, or once again, your lid will fall in. So now we're to the fun part of getting dirty, digging in and uh, getting the seeds out. And a regular spoon will work, but an actual pumpkin carving uh, utensil, they work really well. So we'll start getting into it and digging out all the insides and my daughter storm here is dying to do it so we're gonna let her take over so like with anything the more prep work you do the better it's gonna be so you really want to get it cleaned out another thing to do is in the bottom you can sometimes make a little circle kind of indent for your candle to sit in but what we'll do next is with our like I said not our non-permanent marker is we'll go ahead and draw our face on you know I kind of picked the best side I'm gonna go with probably right here and you can kind of draw on paper to start if you want, but usually I just kind of kind of wing it, kind of freestyle it. Um, you don't want it to be too crazy, or it's going to be hard to actually kind of materialize it out. So we're just going to kind of draw some eyes, you know, nothing too crazy. Sometimes I like to do them symmetrical. Sometimes it's cool to make a pumpkin carving non-symmetrical, make one side different than the other. We're just going to kind of do something fairly generic for the purposes of this video. And then your, your drawings can be kind of rough like this because once you actually cut it, it it's going to smooth it out. So I kind of redid a couple things, but I've got the, uh, the face kind of drawn on the way I like it. So we're going to go ahead and start, uh, if I have my knife the right way, Actually, you know what, I'm going to switch to this double-sided knife. And like I say, you'd be amazed how well an actual carving, pumpkin carving knife works. Now, when you're cutting out the, all the features, you're going to want to cut straight in, not on an angle like with the lid. So just very carefully, you know, if you're only doing one or two pumpkins, 
you might as well do them right. So we'll, we'll carefully start cutting away at all these features. I can see you melt you. I know, that's my daughter, she's loving it. So then when you get one cut out, you're usually best to push it out towards you. That's gonna make the piece come out the best. When you're cutting things like the mouth, sometimes you wanna cut it out in chunks instead of pushing out the whole piece at once. You'll kind of see what I mean as, as you get going. So like I was saying, like when you get to parts like the mouth, sometimes you're better off uh, to cut it out in sections. Be really careful with the smaller features like the teeth, things like that. So you might wanna cut to somewhere like that, you know what I mean, and then come down here and just cut that section out. Or you might find that it'll end up breaking in a way that you don't want it to. So you just start cutting sections out and we'll move our way across here. And one thing you might notice after you cut out your pieces is that the, the, the holes are kind of closed in. So you just want to come in with your knife and kind of cut that back away, similar to you did when we cut out the lid. And that'll open the, the eyes and nose and mouth out a lot and make the light come through more. So there we go, we've got our finished pumpkin. All the markers wiped off, uh, the lid goes on nicely, stays lined up. Uh, we'll stick a candle in it now, we'll, we'll fire it up, and we'll see how it looks. So there you go guys, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. You turn the light off like that, I mean, what a beautiful looking pumpkin. That's a great jack-o'-lantern, looks really nice, really crisp. You know, the cleaner the lines, the better it's gonna look. So that's another uh, David's DIY Reviews Halloween edition. Actually, it's the first one. And if you know what, guys, if you're going out trick-or-treating this year, please be safe. If you're taking your kids with you, use your best discretion. You know, keep your hands clean. Keep yourself clean. Be safe. Happy Halloween. David's DIY Reviews. <laughs>